welcome back everyone now many windows users have the problem where they are not able to turn on or enable the real-time protection on their windows 10 or windows 11 i will be sharing here a few effective solution and make sure that you apply them all because one of the solution will surely work for you so do not skip any part and if this work for you do not forget to like and subscribe first what you will have to do you need to click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click on run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here you have to run three different command and all these command you will find in the description so you can copy them one by one make a right click in the black window paste it hit the enter key and once it's been done copy the second command make a right click and paste it hit the enter key and now this command will take some time so what we can do we can just minimize it and proceed with the next troubleshooting now next what you have to keep in your mind that if you're using any kind of third party antivirus like malwarebyte avast kaspersky then you will have to temporarily disable it or uninstall it so to temporarily disable it what you can do you can click on the drop down here at the right hand corner and just look for the antivirus icon make a right click on it and choose quit close it now if you want to uninstall it in case if you only want to use the real-time protection and no other third-party antivirus then click on your windows search type appwiz dot cpl hit the enter key again and now here it will display all kind of application program installed on your computer so look for the antivirus that you don't want to use right click on it and choose uninstall once you are done close it and now next you need to make sure that your date and time and the region setting has been set properly okay so for that what you can do right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion click on settings in the setting from the left hand menu option click on time and language then click on date and time and make sure set time automatically option has been set and from here in the region you have to click on it and here in the country or region make sure that the right country has been selected okay so just select it then go back and here also make sure the time zone has been properly selected okay so check all these settings then from the left hand menu option only click on windows update and if there is any kind of update available kindly go ahead download and install it as many times the real time protection or any kind of windows security doesn't work just because your windows is not updated all right so once you are done with all these settings from the left hand menu option only click on apps click on installed apps now here is search for windows security once you get the windows security on the right of it click on the three dot then click on advanced options and here make sure let this app run in the background is being either selected to power optimized or always it should not be selected to never once you are done scroll down you will find the reset option here first click on the repair and then click on reset and once it's been done you can close it again bring up the command prompt and we can see that the command is still running so we can again minimize it next right click on the windows icon click on run in the run box you have to type inet cpl dot cpl hit the enter key the internet properties will be up now here from the top menu option click on security then click on reset all zone to default level then from the top menu option only click on advanced and click on restore advanced settings once it's been done click on apply and then click on ok and now next we also need to make some changes from the group policy editor and from the registry so click on your windows search type gp edit and from the suggestion click on edit group policy the group policy editor will be up now in case if you get any kind of error message while opening the group policy it means you are using the windows 10 or 11 home edition so for that i have already created a video the link will be in the description watch that video enable this option and once you come to the group policy editor from the left hand menu option under computer configuration you have to click on admin templates then on the right hand side click on windows components double click on it and then you have to look for a microsoft defender antivirus so scroll down and you will find microsoft defender 
antivirus double click on it and here you will find somewhere real time protection double click on it then you will find turn off real time protection double click on it again and here just make sure it's been selected to not configured and if it's been selected to disabled or enabled then kindly go ahead and select to not configured then click on ok then you have to go back and then you will find turn off microsoft defender antivirus double click on it and this one you can select to disabled okay then you have to click on apply click on ok now you can close it now finally you have to click on your windows search type reg edit click on registry editor click on yes the registry editor will be up now here from the left hand menu option you have to double click on hk local machine then you have to look for software double click on it in this software you have to look for policies double click on it then look for microsoft double click on it and here you will find windows defender double click on it again now once you click on windows defender on the right hand side you will find disable entire spyware so make a double click on it and make sure the value data has been set to zero so if it's been selected to one or two then you have to replace with zero then you have to click on ok now in case if you don't find this option disable entire spyware so what you can do make a right click on the blank space hover up to new choose door 32 bit value and rename it as disable entire spyware you need to type exactly and then you can make the changes and once you are done you can close it now again bring up the command prompt and you can see the command is completed now the final command that you will have to type will be sfc space forward slash scan now again hit the enter key and this will be scanning again for any kind of integrity violation so you will have to wait here again until it's all been 100% completed and once it will be completed we will have to restart the computer okay so the command is 100% completed now so what we can do we can just restart the computer and then we will check whether the problem has been fixed or not okay finally the computer is up now again if i make a right click on the windows icon go to settings privacy and security then windows security virus and threat protection manage setting and now you can see the real time protection has been enabled and i can easily disable it or i can enable it the option is not being grayed out and everything is working fine all right so if you also apply the same solution i'm very sure that your problem will be fixed and the real time protection will now be working properly on your computer so that's all guys and if you like this video do not forget to like and subscribe for any kind of question doubt let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video Bye bye